I started taking classes at a center near my house to improve my video making skills. One thing I noticed was that our channel tend to have more talking than music channels. At first, I didn't understand why, but my teacher said that the exhibition attendance rate with and without curator explanation is very different at art museum. I totally understood. That's why I started speaking my video, even though I was a bit nervous and shy. When we are feeling down, we often try to do something to cheer ourselves. Maybe we eat something tasty and work out, meditate, or write in a diary. For me, drawing is my go-to source of comfort during moments of sadness, loneliness, or even great, great happiness. I love to capture those happy moments on canvas and keep them forever. Drawing also serves as a therapeutic outlet for me when my emotions aren't so positive. It feels like a release, like I'm channeling my feelings onto the canvas. I'm not great at drawing realistically like a photograph, but it's not about that for me. It's about expressing my thoughts and feelings in a way that feels true to myself. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's called The Little Mermaid. When it was on display, someone asked me, why is the sea purple instead of blue? And why does the mermaid have short hair instead of long hair? Sure, let me explain. The mermaid in this painting lives in a mysterious and magical purple sea. She is a free spirit princess who loves going on adventures and exploring new things. That's why she chose to have short hair so that she can swim more easily. However, sometimes the mermaid wonders if her adventures are worth it or if they are just impossible dreams. Have you ever felt the same way as the mermaid? Personally, I love having exciting adventures too, but sometimes I get tired and worried. If I'm going in the right direction, can you relate? <laughs> 